I've been a Silicon Valley entrepreneur most of my life,、um, designing and developing video games, imagining magical worlds that somehow make sense. I、um, was living and working just above the Golden Gate Bridge in Marin County, which is a really beautiful location. And at the dot-com crash of the year 2000, I decided to invest and change my career a little bit in filming case studies of organic and biodynamic family farming, because I was particularly interested in this idea of Rudolf Steiner and his thinking that the cosmos. Um, is somehow connected to what we eat, and as I was doing that, and I was learning about food forests and permaculture and berms, we were discovering this is actually a high-yield way to grow organic food、um, in a very small footprint. Pretty exciting stuff. At the same time, I was learning about these closed-loop circular systems, where the waste from one system was the input of another. And、uh, I started thinking about this topic more and more. Next to these beautiful artisanal family farms, we started to do the research on intentional communities, on eco villages,、um, where people were living with agency and next to where their beautiful organic food was being grown. And I could see viscerally, okay, empirically, that what was happening there was healthy, strong communities. Where people were living long, healthy, happy lives, multi-generational, and I was really inspired. And as we were filming and filming this case study research, it started to really become: Where is this food going? And this farm-to-table celebration of life, these stories of recipes, of families, of tradition, of culture. And then what happened was we started to film restaurants. And as we were doing that, we realized this research is turning into a cooking show. Uh, we were actually we were producing a cooking show,、uh, and it was a really nice format of where food was coming from, where it was going, and the, sort of the cycle of life around it. So I was filming these interviews with, let's say, one to three Michelin star chefs around the world, and I was so inspired by their stories. And of course, we ate, and we ate. And we ate、uh, delicious food from all over the world. This celebration of seasonality, this idea that we're all connected. Through what we eat, that it is actually a way to mitigate and broker peace within communities and have people come together with love and harmony, and yes, delicious food. So at the apex, our TV series reached 35 million homes a week、uh, on national public television, and we had a best-selling companion cookbook on Hachette. And、um, it was really a wonderful experience for me. And as the show went into syndication and into reruns,、um, the entrepreneurial spirit of the social game curve on Facebook sort of bit me a little bit. So I started to design and develop games based on effective neuroscience and on, on looking at how we could maybe trigger happiness, how we could look at pro-social behavior through game mechanics. And that led me to Stanford University. Where、uh, I was then provided and offered a position as a senior researcher and a technologist.、And、at Stanford, I'm surrounded with the best colleagues I've ever worked with in my whole life, and、uh, on a university campus <clears throat> that has spawned over 13,000 startups, with an aggregate revenue globally of about three and a half trillion U.S. dollars. And I was living in a magical bubble, really a wonderful bubble, until 2013, when I started to see this. The climate data, and I realized that things were not going to plan on the planet. At the same time, because I'm affiliated with NASA Ames Research Park, I could see this mathematical equation that was created in 2013 that predicts civilization collapse in the next 30 years, not as a can but a will. And at the same time, there was a UN report that basically said humanity has to start spreading back out from megacities. And actually, the best way to feed 10 billion people is with small, organic, biodynamic family farms, which was germane to my research for almost 14 years. This is the way the world used to look up until 1950. Okay, this is a Rockefeller Foundation report that nearly two-thirds of the whole planet's population lived in small, self-sustaining communities. And this is what 2050 will look like: nearly 10 billion people will be living in. Uh, crowded megacities that are on the coasts, 
And this is a recipe, in my mind, for disaster. So at that point, my son Louis was two and a half years old. And I looked into his eyes, and I saw what 30 years from now would look like. And I was petrified. And I realized I had to do something. So I volunteered on campus at Stanford for this project called the Solar Decathlon. It's an annual 20 university competition of who can build the most energy positive home. And I was the organic food coach, right, for this project. And I realized pretty quickly that a smart house inside of a dumb neighborhood makes absolutely no sense. So in the summer of 2014, I went to Versailles, France, and I like to say in the shadow of a very unsustainable palace, I saw this. 20 beautiful energy positive homes that got built in two weeks on top of a Schneider Electric microgrid. All of the homes were load balancing their power,、uh, electric vehicles buzzing around. It was like a clean, green version of Burning Man. And I was just blown away. And at that point, I realized it was possible. We could marry this with organic food, clean water, waste to resource management, and reinvent the modern, modern eco village. And that's when Regen Villages was born. We brought in a Danish architect called Effect from Copenhagen to help us realize our, our first feasibility study. Now, inside Regen Villages, you don't have to be a farmer, you don't have to be an engineer.、Um, you buy a house, you rent a house,、um, and then basically what happens is you pay an association fee. And every week, a basket of delicious organic goodies are brought to your door that were grown right outside your door. Now, we're also designing a blockchain enabled app that will let you and your family participate in the community as you like, and then your association fee will thus be reduced. So it's an eco village, in other words, on your own terms. We like to say that we more grow a neighborhood than build one. So we start under the ground with water cisterning, with energy storage, and at the same time, we do berms and permaculture and food forests. Imagine. Walking with an empty plate from one end of a neighborhood to the other. And when you end up at the other side of the neighborhood, you have a meal. It's a really exciting idea. We brought together some of the world's best technology partners to be integrated in a way they've never been integrated before, which is at the neighborhood scale. At the same time, because we're born out of university research, we use these universities to allow us to build and replicate these neighborhoods at scale around the world. So, at the heart of Regen Villages is biomimicry. If you're familiar with this idea, we basically model what Mother, Mother Earth has been doing really well for four and a half billion years. And we add a light layer of software and technology and sensors over the top of that to send that data to the cloud so we can then improve those thriving mechanisms. There are some people who think that robots are first going to take our jobs and then kill us. And I'd like to sort of get ahead of that curve, if that's at all possible. So,、um, Regen Villages, what we do is we use that data so neighborhoods in similar climate zones can learn from each other. They can improve. And then, next thing you know, the thriving gets better and better year after year. And I think that's a really exciting use of technology. So, I'm happy to say that we are building our first neighborhood here in Europe. Uh, we're breaking ground in July、um, in the Netherlands. It's very emotional、uh, for me because it's been、um, 15 years in the making with research and planning. But the bottom line is、uh, Regen Villages is being born in a lovely municipality called Almira. Almira is just 20 minutes by train from the heart of Amsterdam. And it's really interesting because this whole peninsula was underwater 55 years ago. The Dutch had diked off the northern part. Had pumped it out, and this landmass became apparent. And since then, nearly 200,000 people have moved there, and they're nearly looking to double that in the next 15 years. So we have a beautiful piece of organic farmland that we plan to put 300 families on top of arable farmland to prove that we can produce more organic food, clean water, clean energy, and mitigated waste while putting families on that land than if you just left it. For organic monoculture or for conservation. We think that really moves the needle for the way forward for humanity spreading out. Something magical happened last year at the Venice Biennale for Architecture. We went viral. We've had about 24 million hits to our website. We've had about 40,000 emails from all around the world that still keep coming in every day, and 
500 families signed up for our first neighborhood in the Netherlands. We've got a really good problem on our hands, folks. Um, yeah. So our plan is to build 77,000 homes in the next eight years in 22 countries. And some people might say, "Gosh, that sounds really ambitious, considering you haven't built your first village yet." Um, and other might, people might say, um, "Is it enough?" And those are the folks that I like to take coffee with, right? Because we need more houses on the planet. About two billion, they estimate, we need in the next 30 years. So if you don't know this guy, you should. His name was R. Buckminster Fuller, or Bucky, and、um, he was quite an inspiration for me because he was the one guy、uh, in the 1960s that the hippies trusted who was over 30.、Um, because he designed a map of the world based on natural resources, not on arbitrary, capricious lines. He also was the inventor of the geodesic dome, a three-wheel car that got、uh, 25 miles to the gallon. A lot of interesting things. Now, Bucky's famous quote was, "If you want to build something,、uh, don't fight. Build something that makes the old model obsolete. Inside Regen villages, you're safe, you're resilient, you're regenerative. You're living in a thriving neighborhood within a community that's strong. So we invite you." Move in with us. Thank you so much.